The superior completion system with interventionless flow control allows the operator to maintain total well control during the installation of the sand control equipment and during the critical period when running the Hawk well completion system. The lower zone is isolated by installing a concentric isolation string inside the production screen. Attached to this isolation string is a radial flow valve. This valve isolates the flow path between the reservoir and the isolation tubing, controlling fluid loss in the lower zone. The valve is hydraulically balanced and not affected by formation or treating pressures during treatment of the lower or upper zone. A similar system is employed to isolate the upper zone. A concentric production isolation string is run through the upper zone screen. Lower zone flow will pass through the ID of this string. Upper zone flow is directed through the annulus formed between the upper zone screen and the OD of the isolation string. The annular flow valve is installed at the top of the screen and isolates this flow path. This provides bi-directional flow control to the upper zone. This valve is also hydraulically balanced during upper zone treatment and is not affected by formation pressures. The radial and annular flow valves provide bi-directional zonal isolation barriers during the Hawk well system installation. They are both opened hydraulically with applied tubing pressure allowing interventionless operation when ready for production. The Hawk system is sent out as a fully tested assembly. Control and data acquisition lines are connected on the surface and the system is lowered into the well bore. The hydraulic multi-service valve sleeves operate through three control lines, common close, upper open, and lower open. These lines are accessible during run-in and the valves may be periodically cycled during installation to ensure good communication and valve operation and that no damage has occurred to the control lines. As the Hawk system is run into the well, production seals located below the hydraulically actuated sleeves are installed into a seal bore, just above the annular flow valve located in the upper zone. This isolates the upper zone production flow path from the lower zone up to the lower hydraulic multi-service valve. The upper zone production flow path is now created outside of the upper isolation string and directed to the upper zone hydraulic multi-service valve just below the upper production packer. The system is landed with the lower hydraulic multi-service valve in the open position to allow the production tubing to fill and the production seals to enter the seal bore. The tubing hanger supports the tubing string weight and the system is landed in a neutral condition. Other essential elements of the Hawk well system are seal assembly landed in the annular flow valve, blast joints, pressure containing shroud, the flow sub, profile plug, lower hydraulic multi-service valve in the open position, upper hydraulic multi-service valve in the closed position, brake assembly, comp pro packer, jet sub or cutting area for recovery control lines and control line connector sub for all flat pack connectors. Prior to setting the upper production packer, the packer fluid is circulated into the annulus and an underbalanced condition to the lower zone formation is created by closing the lower hydraulic multi-service valve and opening the upper hydraulic multi-service valve. Once the packer fluid and underbalanced condition has been achieved within the tubing, the upper hydraulic multi-service valve is closed to seal the tubing for setting the Comp Pro Packer. Tubing pressure is applied to fully set and test the Comp Pro Packer. With a successful test, the pressure is released and the upper hydraulic multi-service valve is opened to vent the area below the Comp Pro Packer. Pressure is next applied to the annulus to test the packer's pass through the control line seals. The Hawk is an interventionless system because it is deployed, positioned, set and tested without mobilizing coil tubing or slick line. The annular and radial flow valves are opened by applying pressure to the ID of the concentric isolation production string. This is accomplished by closing the upper hydraulic multi-service valve and opening the lower hydraulic multi-service valve.
This will allow pressure to communicate through the Hawkes system down the production tubing to the ID of the annular flow valve and the radio flow valve. Internal tubing pressure will actuate the annular flow valve opening the annular flow path while maintaining tubing pressure integrity. Internal tubing pressure will also initiate actuation of the radio flow valve. The actuation pressure unlocks the valve but does not yet open the flow path from the lower zone into the isolation tubing. Pressure integrity inside the tubing is maintained. This allows overpressure to be applied to both valves to ensure complete actuation before communication to the lower zone occurs. The tubing pressure is now released, allowing the radio flow valve to shift to the fully open position. Both the annular and radio flow valves have dual lock open features and redundant mechanical shifting systems. The well is placed on production by releasing the pressure in the production tubing. The predetermined underbalanced condition not only assists in valve shifting, but also ensures the hydrostatic on the formation is less than formation pressure. The production flow path begins by flowing through the lower production screen, around the lower isolation tubing, through the radio flow valve, through the internal production isolation string and into the pressure containing shroud surrounding the lower hydraulic multi-service valve. Fluid is prevented from flowing directly up through the production tubing by a plug placed in a nipple just below the lower hydraulic multi-service valve. Flow continues up through the shroud and into the lower hydraulic multi-service valve. Production is always shut in or isolated at the tree prior to shifting any downhole hydraulic sleeve. The utilization of downhole surveillance equipment provides the operator the ability to capture flowing temperatures and live pressures on multiple intervals at all times. To change the production flow path, both hydraulic multi-service valves are closed and the well is isolated or shut in downhole. The upper interval is placed on production by hydraulically opening the upper hydraulic multi-service valve sleeve. The production flow path is through the upper zone production screen, around the upper isolation tubing, through the annular flow valve, into the annulus surrounding the lower zone pressure containing shroud, and up the annular flow path into the upper hydraulic multi-service valve. The production continues via the production tubing. Production is shut in at the surface. The lower hydraulic multi-service valve sleeve is open to commingle or produce from the lower and upper intervals at the same time. Operators may utilize the Hawk system to control water production. Superior offers multiple position choke type sleeves to assist in controlling downhole flow. Choke type sleeves may also be utilized in commingled environments to adjust production as necessary. The Superior Hawk system provides true interventionless operation. This is possible because Superior is the industry leader in zonal isolation systems, with a focus on merging sand control completion systems and intelligence systems, providing optimal flexibility and value in complex wells. The Superior Hawk system is designed for years of reliable service. However, in the event that retrieval is required, the system is designed to minimize effort and time while being recovered. Several features have been incorporated in the design to ensure easy retrieval. After the well has been killed, the system is released by achieving a predetermined overpull at the Compro Packer. At the desired overpull, the release pin shear, parting the mandrel, opening communication to the annulus from the tubing. Kill fluid may be circulated in the annulus at this time. Once the well is stable, continued upward movement will release the packer and the entire system can be recovered. Superior's reliable interventionless Hawk system is not only deployed, positioned, set and tested, the production valves in each interval are hydraulically opened, providing additional savings while eliminating interventional risks. Superior Energy Services Hawk system has proven to be an excellent option for multi-zone sand control completions. The increase in available production potential 
as well as the increase in recoverable reserves, will easily justify the additional cost of the system and additional expenses incurred during installation. On a multi-well project, these savings can contribute millions to operating expense budgets. Contact your Superior Energy Services Completion Representative for additional details regarding the application of Superior Energy Services Hawk Systems in your next project.